I just had to record myself like this because what is this beauty? On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a partridge in a pear tree. I'm happy to see my mama. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what am I saying Merry Christmas when it's just the second day in December for you guys? Yeah, so welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. So today I won't be doing so much actually. Today is a Saturday and I'm actually going home. Yeah, I go home every weekend and I come back to my hotel on Sundays. So I'm arranging to go home. I'm supposed to have gotten home like one hour ago. But I want to do a lot of stuff. But anyway, she just wants to like, I'm already packing, want to arrange my stuff, then uh, I go home, and then today is our church Christmas carol, we call it Cantata, so yeah, I'll be going for that, so yeah, I'm going to get my OOTD, not anything, but like, of course, absolutely beautiful, so yeah, let me just get ready. Hi guys, quick one before I go, the weirdest thing just happened to me this morning, yeah, so like, yeah it's what happened. i told you guys today is the weekend i go home every week yes <laughs> i stay in ife you know i told you i wanted to like clear my space because i don't like coming back to my room on the sunday i've seen it because i like to come back to a freshly laid bed so i'll just get out of my clothes and just like sleep and stuff so before going to bed i threw out some dirt and part of the dirt was banana bread that I don't know if you guys remember my content where I went to Jake's Bakery. Hey. So the banana bread she gave me, I did not finish it. And I've been eating it small, 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 small. God, she caught me. Shall. I forgot that I still had like a little piece left. So I was flying out this bag. This is my weekend bag. My you guys remember this bag. It's on my sister's wedding. This was the bag that we used to capture the money that was sprayed. So I took this one for myself. I saw the banana bread in this bag. This was the bag I took for that shoot because I needed to fit my tripod inside. I threw the banana bread in the dust, in the waste um, bin outside. So after baiting, I did another round of cleaning. So when I wanted to go and throw it outside, the cleaners in my hostel, they are working this morning. And I saw, I think, her daughter. She should not be more than five. She, I saw her open the dust bin and she took the bread and she wanted to start eating it. And I had to tell her, hey... You can't eat that. That's spoiled. You can't eat that. Like, it was a moment of sober reflection for me. I felt very, very bad. And at that point, I was rocking my head. Do I have anything in my waist that they can eat right now? I didn't have. So I told her, wait, give me. I threw it back in the door. I said, you can't eat that. It's not healthy. You eat it. You fall sick. So I went to my... I should have checked her. I saw that I still had Capri Sun. So I gave she and her sister to... I gave them two Capri Suns. And... It was just a moment of reflection for me in that moment. There are people actually going through it. If, if she had eaten, she would not see something in the dustbin and want to eat it. But at the same time, it also made me feel good that I saw her at that point and I was able to help. That's, that's one thing I've learned from my mom. My mom always gives. Even sometimes she will give and will be like, ah, but why? Why are you doing this? Mom, she will be like, God gave me so I can help others. There are so many times that people will ask me for favors and I want to say no. But this thought will just come to my head of, what would your mom do? I still told her last week and she was like, she, she just likes giving. So, I told her last week that whenever I want to be wicked and not do stuff, I just remember, what would your mommy do? And I was like, ah, she will give this person. And I know that I can actually do it and I can give and I won't feel anything. I will actually give the person. And aside from that, I feel like that's what Christmas is all about. We all know that that's what Christmas is about. Christmas is about being kind. This is the season to be kind. And even beyond Christmas, let's try to help as much as we can. You don't need to have one million. Once you see that these people are actually genuinely in need, you can actually give them, you can help them. This is the season to be kind. This is the season to help. This is the season to not look away. Don't look away, please. Just, if you can help, try to help. So... That's what I wanted to tell you guys. And yes, I'm wearing my favorite baggy top. And it's time to go home. <laughs> you can see my mommy. I am on to see my mama. I'm, I'm happy to see my mama. I just had to record myself like this because... What is this beauty? And the sun is actually sunning. <laughs> you guys, 
I'll go my own left. So I have to go back and pick it up. So hi guys, I'm in church already and I'm quite early because red carpet is 1 pm and the event is for two. So yeah, stay tuned for more. I hope I'm able to like vlog the entire event because like we have guest ministers, Yinka, Alasha Yori is gonna be here. Yeah, you heard that. Hi <laughs> Tammy graduates. <laughs> who just led the opening prayer how we celebrate God in the life alright Thank you. 